All right, it looks like we're looks like we're fully back. Oh my god, why does it do this to me? <sighs> All right. Okay. Uh -oh. I've already seen this. Alright, back to this dungeon. So many of these. There we go. But we're back and we're ready to rock. Was in a pain. Although this looks like it's going to be. Nope, 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 nope. Just barely enough room. Just. Alright. Damn gargoyles. All right, we're doing good. Not much I'm going to need here. Care what's in there? Boom. Earth ring. Who isn't immune to Earth at the moment? So, Earthle Scale Virginia. She's got Earth Ward, Fire, Dark, Ice. He could use Earth Ward. And Thunder, Dark. Okay, he could use it. Everybody else can use it. Seal. You guys start making yourself immune to Earth, and there's not much the enemies can do at this point. Alright, off we go. Could this be? I was unable to confirm any type of control device up until now, but I believe this receives orders from remote locations to mass produce monsters automatically. If we destroy it, we'd stop the production of monsters. 
Please, not so fast. If this is a receiving device, then the dispatcher must be the information library hiatus. We may still be able to extract the lost wisdom from hiatus before we destroy it. Well, we have to stop this now, or else all monsters will be unleashed all over for Gaia. Can't let that happen. I understand, but... We got bigger issues. We have bigger fish to fry. Phew, that was close. Didn't think you'd make it to the control device so soon. But thanks to your indecision, I was able to deploy the barrier in time. Now, no one can stop the demand repeller. Appreciate all you've done for me, like getting rid of the profits. Siegfried, for that matter. Thanks to you, my plan is running smoothly. What is it that you want? What are you planning to do? My wish has been the same over the past 100 years. I want my own world. Don't want to live inside the boring library anymore. I want another full guy, one where I can live. Now I understand. That's how you backside my master and reduce him to despair. Well, Asgard done our job for us. How dare you, Golem? But my plan for creation cannot be stopped by the structure of one Demon Door Pillar. Asgard. Now's the time to sell our score. <laughs> what are you doing? You know very well there's no more reason to fight. But there is. Fight is my reason for existing. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta bring this guy down fast. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah, that is why. He'll have our health. And then we destroy. Sorry, Clive. I'm I'm ending this fight real fast. Now we go ham. Should be just enough. There we go. Is a golem created to act as my master shield? Now, once did I regret this life? Not worth a whole lot of experience. All my memories I have accumulated from battle. They may be nothing but simple battle data, but this has granted me a heart. All these memories helped me discover pride and joy during battle. I was able to feel alive. Because of these memories, I had hope for tomorrow. Memories. That's what I lack. That's what makes me an oddity, even though we're both creations. You can say yourself an oddity because you turn your eyes away from the truth and refuse to accept it. You say you have no memory, but you're just using that as an excuse. Then what am I supposed to do? The answer should already lie within you. All you need to do is accept is to acknowledge and accept it. From one artificial life form to another, let me ask you this. What is your purpose on this planet? <laughs> What's your answer? I no reason to live is I have no memories. That's why I refuse to fight to protect the memories of this planet. Jet? Chill out. You know, I kinda have fun hanging out and traveling with these charter boxes. I was able to experience disgust, shock, and anger more so than when I traveled alone. But the thing is, it wasn't all that bad. So I decided to fight in order to make my own memories, and I wanted to do it protecting this planet along these, alongside these chatterboxes. That's the reason I fight. I would like you to weave memories over this planet in my place. Even a vacant heart can be filled with memories. Even our official life form can discover a reason to live. Wish you Godspeed. Yo, know, just a bit, you didn't come here just to tell me that. You came here to fight us, didn't you? Obeying orders is Golem's destiny. Orders? You mean you carry it out in order to get beaten by us? It's untrue. My orders act as a shield to protect my master. However, I needed to find a way to follow my master to the netherworld so that I may carry out his orders there. This is by my own accord. 
And the very reason I fought you, I knew you'd be my ticket to the netherworld. Yo, do you even realize what you're saying? Worry not. By no means did I throw this fight. For as long as the golem is a golem, there's a fundamental rule he must follow. Golem must secure his own safety to the best of his abilities. You are the true victors. Yeah, we punched his clock pretty hard on that one. So, you just give your spiel and run, huh? Give me a break. You guys, mind if I continue fighting alongside you? Of course not. We've been fighting together the whole time. <laughs> Come on, open up a little. Why do you always have to be so antisocial? Guess that's just you. It's okay, we'll extend a handshake anytime. It's all good. Yeah, Clive. Got anything to say about that? Asshole. It's charming sensation. The Devonder Pillar? Can't pinpoint the exact location, but it's far <coughs> northeast of here. Northeast? No, Humphrey's Peak! Let's oh, hurry. Now we got Humphrey's Peak. First time for his peak to where I am. Just that. Okay. I think I overshot it. <laughs> oh! I was looking at the wrong thing. And I definitely overshot it. Here, Humphrey's Peak. It's gonna be over here. Everybody good? No? <clears throat> the sword is even more powerful than before. I feel an evil presence of the Arc Scepter. No, this is much too big. I'm sure the townsfolk are feeling this as well. What's a strange presence I feel? I saw a huge pillar of light appear in the southeast. What do you suppose that is? That's what we're here to check out. Take care of it. Please don't panic. Clive? What's wrong? You're not yourself. Forgive me. Hey, are you alright? I cannot fight alongside you. I've lost the will to fight. I understand that the Demander Pillar is a terrible, dangerous device that summons monsters. Even still, I would like to analyze the pillar and investigate what's beyond it. I'm not worthy enough to fight shoulder to shoulder with you all for the sake of this planet, for the sake of Pogaya. Don't need to be worthy to find at least a reason to live. At least that's what I've come to realize. Please, give me a reason. Kept my oath to my professor, search and search for the cause of Fogaya's decay. From there, I took to the wasteland as a drifter in search of a way to revitalize the environment. To see over the cause of Fogaya's decay, but as for revitalizing the world's environment, I'm at a complete loss. All I can think of is relying on the wisdom of stored within hiatus. Clive. Deep down, I know what must be done now. I know I've been bound by the chains of the past. But the truth is, I do not have the strength to break them. I'll find your answer and catch up. We're gonna press on. I know you'll be right behind us. I believe in you. Listen well, young one. Like me, you still have time on your side. You must track down the cause. Find a way to rejuvenate the guy to its original state. When you and Catherine become parents, don't you want children to have a safe and bright future? Professor, what am I supposed to do? That's the sign is far too great for me. Alright. Yeah, I could use a rest, guys.
Well, we won't have to fly for a little bit. Well, it actually would help if I... Figure out where I'm going. Which one of you guys saw it? What's the only one saw the mysterious light from the hills to the southeast? In order to reach those hills, you would need to take a mountain path far southwest. Kind of... Yeah. Let's see, the geo coordinates for this one is 24. Somewhere around here. With only three members, it's gonna make it just a little bit harder to work with. Okay, you know what? That is nice. Free migrant seal? Hell yeah. It's gonna save us a little on the ECA engage. But only a little. Damn. Where are you? Or is it up? No, it's not up there. Great. <sighs> We're starting off with a bang. Get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Alright, well, this wasn't the place I was supposed to land. So... Go back to Humphrey's Peak so I actually have full, uh, full everything. Yeah, I wanted, wanted to save at least, you know, my uh, migrant uh, level. Alright. Sorry. It was... There we go. Can I not land here? Place for me to land. Yes, barely. There we go. This is the place I needed to be. Alright. So we definitely want to get some horses. We got a little bit to go. Alright. 
Uh, it's gonna be around here somewhere. There it is. Here we go. Yeah, if only we had Clive for that. Probably it. All right. Oh, nice. darkness work Just all week to dark. Okay, that's a little weird. But whatever. Oh no! Ain't gonna do us any good panicking. Oh man, something's coming. We're already packed in sardines like it. Like this. How do I wish to die? I'd rather not. Burn to death, so I guess, I'm guessing that's fire. Drown in a tidal wave of water. Get crushed to death and swallowed by the earth. You know, I think that'll do me some good here. He's got no armor as well. If Virginia can do damage to him like this. Yeah. Let's just end this.
I know I wish to die. You know what? I think we can get defeated by Earth again. You know? But at this point, I think you're just going to die. Yeah. Easy. Woo! Look at that experience. Too bad Clive doesn't get a lick of it. How dare you still defy me! Beatrice! Ow. Ten years. No, I've been eagerly waiting for 100 years. This time for sure I'll see to it that I secure my own planet. I have an idea. Let's do something fun. What do you mean? You'll be an offering to the monster summoned by the deep... The Demander Pillar. Think of all the fun and excitement you all have in there. Fear is the best medicine to loosen your heart and extract your memories. Hey Clive, you want to get off of your high horse and, you know... Actually, to do something? Come on. Gotta go. Oh, it's you, Kayla. How long have you been there? How long are you gonna sit there, Dad? Dad can't work with them anymore. Dad, it's, it's your job to find out about old stuff, or is it to beat up the bad guys? My job is to protect you and your mother. That's why I'm here from now on, right by your side. Is that your new job, Dad? Okay, look. If that's your job, you get paid money, right? But I don't have any money, so I'll give you my most favorite thing. Do you remember this, Dad? You brought me the, you bought me this rope when I was really little. It's filled with lots and lots of memories of you and Mom. It's my most favorite thing. It's my most favorite thing, so... So to protect all my favorite things, people too, Daddy, Mommy, your friends, our neighbors, and everyone in the whole wide world. Is the ribbon not enough? Oh, Caitlin, that's plenty. It's more than enough. Protecting you, your mother, and everyone else is more enough reason to live and to fight. Why? Why couldn't I figure out something so simple? Caitlin, you hold on to this ribbon and protect it. This ribbon also has many of Daddy's important memories of you. Take good care of it. Honey, what's wrong? And both you and Caitlin, and I have this moment. In order to bring forth another moment tomorrow, the day after, in the future, I must go. Caitlin, make sure you only have one important thing from now on. <laughs> you can hear my reason to live on and fight. Take me to the others, Lombardi. Lombardi's not even there, man. But I guess... Lombardi can can hear your heart or something. You better off saving your energy. <laughs> Our team, how many of us are we? Sorry. You believe in them, don't you? Then let's believe until the end. It's been quite some time since the activation. I just hope they're all right. I just hope I make it to the end. Jeez. Coughing. My coughing was fine until until now. All right. Okay. Wait, what? Why is he by himself? Interesting. We were all together until then. Damn 
And there's stuff on the other side too. Okay. So, let's see here. Blue door's open. Okay, so that's going to mirror this. 25,000, potion berry, not bad, not bad. Hey Jack, can you go through that door? No, you cannot. Which is fine. Ah. Let's get you through the door, Chad. Never mind, we can't. No, we can. What? Oh, no, no, we're, the three of us are together. Idiots. Idiot. <clears throat> okay. Can I do a Mystic Dark Gem? I can. Beautiful. I have everything I need right here. All right, Clive. I need you to just move over to that one. Got a card. Venture number eight. Okay, that didn't work out as I had hoped. Probably needed to freeze it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Alright, looks like we could get through our end. How, ab how about you? Clive. Red. So yeah. Need you guys to I he needs to step on blue. <coughs> Sorry. It's like when the doctor say gonna have to deal with it. But now Clive can go through, hopefully, you know, we'll be in the same spot, and then we just put blocks on everything and we could go everywhere. Sorry to keep you waiting. You're late! <laughs> Five. Forgive me, not in a position to say this, but I'd like to ask you for your help one more time. I need you to help destroy the receiver that controls the Demander Pillar. Please, just for now as a comrade. Don't be so selfish. One more time, just for now? Who do you think we are? We're a team. And a team always sticks together, isn't that right? Now you understand? Let's all go together. Okay, that was abrupt. There we go. 
we're through. Everyone's together. <laughs> together, for better or worse. Got these assholes. Oh, I don't like this order. There. Much better. All by themselves, huh? Fine. That's how it's gonna be. Prism Crown. Nullifies all elemental attacks. Hell yeah. <coughs> you know what, Virginia? It's your lucky day. Just just get rid of a few things to make her just immune to all elements. Just need one more. Go. There we go. So if that's all a boss can do are elemental attacks, she wins. Good lord. Make you tangible, huh? Is that it? Make you tangible? I saw a flash. There we go. And now I just fall because a little bit faster. Damn it, I didn't see it. Nobody here, please. Allow me to put an end to this. Memories are like building blocks, they keep piling up. Great memories you want to hold on to, sad memories you want to forget. They just keep piling up and are meant to continue rise so that you can bring forth a new tomorrow. I finally understand now. It's all clear to me. Memories are not meant to be chains that bind you to the past. That's all it took, one bullet. My chains have been severed, now determined to fight for the life that exists today and for the planet. I owe this to all of you and to all who support me. Sure, everybody has the power to break the chains, but I'm glad you're a we are able to help you realize that. Yes, you, my friends and my family have all supported me dearly. Sorry to throw a damper, we got a problem.
it appears this one's independent from the others. Even though the receiver device has been destroyed, it hasn't suspended all its functions. There's a door behind it. Called back up to bail you out, shrewd humans. Humans are not necessarily a strong race. That's why we know how to change weakness into strength. We are now at a point of no return. We've been brought to bay. Our only choice is to be strong and hang on. Well, that goes for me too. It's not like I have many chances to create my own world. Create another Fogaya? My last opportunity was ten years ago when I used the Yggdrasil system. Gave one of the programmers a dream and controlled his spirit, but ended in failure at the last minute. Probably didn't have a chance anyway, since the system was designed to rejuvenate Fogaya and not create it. Couldn't handle the overload of output and went berserk. Plus, the system's data bank lacked the necessary information to create the planet. Can you guess where the Yggdrasil system tried to supplement this missing information? From people's minds. Malfunctioning Yggdrasil thought it could feed off people's memories for the planet's structural data. The reason nobody has any recollection of the moment of Fogai's decay is because it was devoured by Yggdrasil. That really happened ten years ago. But why does my father still remember the system breakdown when he was involved in the middle of it all? Is this the father you're referring to? Dad? How outrageous of him to think he could steal the hiatus by faking electric signals. No, what'd you do to my father? This time for sure I'll create my own full guy. I've learned much from the Yggdrasil mistake ten years ago. I have a new plan to create my own plant. The Yggdrasil system's generator I have obtained has been adjusted to create this new world. And the missing structural data is taken from people's memories. Not just the memories that exist in their minds, but also memories from the original full guy embedded genetically. The thing is, in order to extract the memories, you need to take off the hoops from the minds that make them defenseless. That's why I created the the Demander Pillar to create monsters that stall fear inside people's hearts. But you, forget it. Take care of this personally. Make humans perform their miserable last dance at the Castle of Dreams. People's memories are about to be deprived again just like ten years ago. Dad. Looking for a shortcut can lead you astray, but still... No idea where we should go save your father. We're in a real fix here. When the dream demon showed us his image, did you notice a tiny flower resting by his side? The flower might be a clue to his whereabouts. Like the area surrounding Yggdrasil, maybe. Hmm. It did not appear to be outdoors. Perhaps he's in the care of somebody? A tiny flower by Dad's side? Was it a white flower? Then... Did something come to mind? Knowing Warner, he may have very well used the flower as a clue to his whereabouts. Well, the white flower does ring a bell, but I can't pinpoint what. White flower, tiny white flower. That tiny white flower is Mom's favorite flower, and the person who would sometimes place it on her grave was... Let's go to Boot Hill. Must be some kind of message for my father waiting for us there. What am I doing? Just Warp Star. Alright, wanna rest up, but I wanna try and see another optional boss while I can. Don't have many of them that I can actually fight and destroy. I do believe this one should be well within reach. left.
Plenty of those. I don't have enough. Boosting five up just one more would help immensely. in here? Hmm. Could have sworn there was an alternate boss down here. Oh well. That's fine. Got no problem if there's no alternate boss down here. Could have sworn there was. Oh well. I can beat myself up for it. So. We have to go to where Virginia's place is, Boot Hill. All the way down there. Oh, we went the right way. There we go. What are you going to give me? Big grab bag. More experience. Gallows is so close to getting another level. Okay, nothing there. Okay. Now well, let's check her mother's grave site. Yep, there's the letter. You're finding yourself reading this letter. There's a good chance something's happened to me. Uh, I'm headed for Members Well to seal the information library hiatus to cut off its communication with Phil Guy. Members Well is an access point meant to transmit accumulated data from hiatus. This lake up is transferring the lost wisdom of the demons to Yggdrasil and other terminals. If I can shut this down, communication with hiatus can easily be cut off. But for some reason, I cannot destroy Members Well. I'd like to entrust this mission to you. Once you reach Members Well. You must be brave, face the truth with open eyes, and pull the trigger at all costs. Virginia, you're the one who must do this, and forgive me for having to ask you to do it. All my love, Dad. Remember as well. This mission is trust me, I'm scared and anxious, but I have to trust Dad and continue forward. Yep. Some members well. Okay, it's actually not that far from here. So it's north. Way too far north. Team four six nine. So I might as well start making my way over here. it over there. Eh, what if it is over there? Uh, duplicate that 
will prove just a little useful. Somewhere around here. There it is. Land right on top of it. Here we go. No. No. Surprise? You sure look it. The de Dream Demon Beatrice, is this your doing too? My doing? Oh, please. You've been calling this phony daddy all this time. You don't have it in you to destroy memory as well. You're not capable of stealing hiatus. How can you be so sure? Well, if you really want to know, why don't you ask that phony directly? But if you do destroy this place, I'll be waiting for you in the Castle of Dreams. The final grand ball is approaching. Don't be late. You'll be one of my distinguished guests. Dad, what did Beatrice mean by that? I won't be able to destroy memory as well or hiatus. What does she mean? Answer me! I'm not your father. Your father Werner passed away that fateful day ten years ago during the Yggdrasil accident. What are you talking about? Let me repeat. I'm not your father. Your father died ten years ago. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. My father's dead, then who are you? I thought it was my father supporting me all the way here. Who are you? If you're willing to face the truth with open eyes, accept it. Follow me. Asking who I am is the wrong question. I'm the whole personality day of Werner. The one who he saved inside hiatus before the Yggdrasil. Yes, he possesses memories up until that point. In some ways, I am your father, Werner, but at the same time, a different entity. Deep-seated delusion, a remnant thought? These may be the appropriate terms to describe me now. Properly speaking, the suspended terminal progress hologram based on Werner's records, which were created by hiatus... For the more mass propulsion, simulate through gravitational manipulation. Oh my god. I am a ghost with mass, and that's enough. No one's going to understand that. The, that ability used to save us on a number of occasions was was the repulsive force being expanded and developed for a brief period acted as a barrier. You remember the incident at the sacrificial altar? How can I forget? My dream demon took advantage of my innocent little brother. She was probably trying to release a high-density energy generator of a surgical guy. I believe she planned to gather the energy needed to create her own planet. In order to inject the Yggdrasil system's generator, a high-level force energy. Beatrice still hasn't carried out her plan. For the time being, no. But she will make her move before long. And the grand final ball is to take place the Castle of Dreams, so we do not have much time. Tomorrow. Yes, the password is tomorrow. It was also our mantra, the success of Council 7, you yearn for tomorrow. It is ironic how we utilized the artifacts of yesterday to seek it tomorrow, yet we failed. Dad, you would still consider me your father? Because you would place those flowers on Mom's grave. So Mom wouldn't feel lonely, right? You're always so kind and caring. That's a mistake of Dad, I know. Forgive me, Virginia. Just want to deliver it tomorrow for you and your mother.
I may have died physically, my spirit is here. That day, ten years ago, the guy who spawned miraculously survived the accident. I took Jet to a similar laboratory with a nurture pod and configured him so he may interact with people. After that, I embarked alone and searched for the cause. Then I met you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this, this, this keeps going. I want to hunt down Beatrice and stop this calamity from happening. At the very least, consider this an atonement for my sins. However, that? The suspended terminal that makes up my current structure seems to have been damaged by Beatrice. Don't have much longer. This is my last request to you. I want you to destroy this facility so that the point of contact between Phil Guy and Hyas can be severed. But if I do that now, sever the connections, yes. The memory existing only within Hyas, I will no longer be able to exist. That's fine. Either way, I'll be gone. The suspended terminal is damaged. That's why I entrust this task to you, my beloved daughter. No, I can't. My already fragmented data. Nothing but a mere memory. I am but a shadow of the past. But as long as high is a contact for a guy, the threat will never end. Cast away your hesitation, face the truth with open eyes. With the hardship. Mm hmm. Made you cry too. I go. I cried as much as I thought I was going to shrivel up. Doing it again. All the tears have been holding back. Must have been all gushed out at once. See? I was a terrible father. May have been better had I not come to you. No, that's not true. Even though I was overwhelmed with grief when you disappeared. The joy I felt when we were united doesn't even compare. I was so overjoyed I couldn't express it emotionally or with words. And yet, I send you once again. I'm okay. Well, maybe not really, but... I'll hang in there. You told me to be strong. That's why I will keep... That's what will keep me going. No matter what obstacles I face, I'll do my best. Do you really have to go? At some point, memories are meant to fade. If not, people would not be able to establish a future. You know, some memories will live on. I hear. It's not to say goodbye. It's a handshake that signifies our bond, so we'll be able to, to be together, no matter what. We're going back, by the way. It's may sound cliche, but my father is alive and memory inside my heart. Can't say that I could say that with confidence now. There's someone out there who's trying to take this dear memory of my father away from me. Not just mine, but everyone else's precious memories too. Might not be as grand as same in the world, but my goal right now is to protect everyone's memories. That is my reason to fight, my reason to live on Phil Guy. 
That's okay with you all. I need to ask for your support. Really need to bring this up now and ask for a confirmation? Give me a break. Come on, you're embarrassing me. Well, I guess it can't be helped. We shall accept your mission. As for a reward, we would like a world that will carry over our memories in the future. We are the ones who make our own memories. They're ours. No one's going to take that away from us. Again. To protect our important memories, we must defeat the dream demon, Beatrice. I mean, I could just leave it at that, you know, and not take on that dungeon, but where's the fun in that? Besides, I kind of want the items that are in there. Plus, there's an optional boss fight we can fight in there. That's hilarious. Wait, hold up. Wait a second. What's up? Got a plan. If all goes well, I might be able to find out where Beatrice is. Really? Let's see, but let's stop by Bastard Colony first. Yeah, <laughs> pretty sharp today. Yeah, we're not going there directly just yet. Plus, every minute I I waste in this game. That's another uh I need to go all the way over there. Back in. Name tag. Not the treasure I was looking for, but, you know. There's a lot of duplicator doors in here, too, so... All the rest of the duplicators that I got are gonna come in handy. But I'll be one. Yep. Thirty thousand gal. There we go. That's a weapon upgrade. more space is what I need. Hmm. Doesn't exactly give me the space I would want. Say so yeah, I do that. Gives me a little more space to work with. Gives me just enough to do this. I hate the fact that I gotta do this as well. Just to get this one chest, this better be worth it. Yep. Ah, uh, it might be necessary for all the duplicators I need to get. I need to use. Right, you back it up all the way. Back it up. Fortunately, I gotta go just a little bit further. There you go. Not that bad of a block puzzle. 
Alright, so now we got the duplicator doors. Alright, that's one. Migrant seal, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Okay, that's two. Oh, good lord! Let me restart this. The direct path ain't gonna work. Why couldn't it just be, you know, a simple, you know, you just open the door and that's it. Better not have a tiny flower behind this. I'm going to be up very upset. Mm -hmm. Adventure number nine. If I ever want to read to, uh, Wife's daughter. Can I be cheeky and sneak through? No. be able to now. There we go. Three. Oh no game. No, 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 no. This one might not even be worth it. Oh, I'm for a penny and for a pound, I guess. Is it going to be that easy? This is just mean. It's for two treasure chests, so just have to suck it up. No, I have to do the top one first. I can do this. Oh, 
Oh my god. Grab this. Thank you. There we go. Holy root. Tiny flower, yeah. This room was definitely not worth the price of admission. Alright, and the password to this was tomorrow. This is to him. On all the treasure. All the treasure. And full Libra. Alright. Personal skill, Virginia. Equip, uh, the hand. Where is the full Libra? Qualifies everything. Man, it requires a lot. I don't think I'll need that anymore. But let's say I do. Okay, so I got Elemental Ward, Total Ward, Finest Arts, Power Cancel, and just one more level for Disarm. It's not bad. Now! Now we save. Because if you know Wild Arms 1, it was... Let me check my notebook. There was a name to type in. Wild Arms 1, it was... Emeth was the L's name. Optional boss time. Hey, look, it's our golem, Lilithia. Do not wake Lilithia. So, Lilithia is going to be doing a few things to us. So, I'm going to do actually status locus. So that we don't um, go to sleep. Unless we actually get to go to sleep. Oh no, we're faster. Beautiful. Yep. There we go. Bye bye, optional boss. Clive. Fire, dark, earth, ice. Okay, you do have ice ward. Do you have an ice ward on you? You do not. So we put the hook shard with an ice ring. Honestly, don't need the counter attack as much anymore. There we go. 
care about paralysis here. Elemental resistances are going to be uh, the important one. Okay. Well, let's make sure you are. So you got water, ice, earth, fire. So pretty much, I'm generally good for most elements. Well worth the investment coming over here. Alright, and before we hit up Baskar, we do not have <laughs> an arms dealer there, so... Of course. In danger of what? They're the ones that are in danger. Oh no. <clears throat> Easy. Roger. <laughs> okay. This is Baskar area. Jolly Roger's right here. A lot of attack, but boy, is it going to be worth it. <laughs> hey, Granny, we need to figure out something, eh? Here. Okay, hear me out, guys. <coughs> Beatrice went to the sacrificial altar and used an acolyte chain to try and extract the plant's life energy. But that energy is most likely much too huge and impossible for her to utilize. But even still, Beatrice came empty-handed when she tried to obtain the energy. Which leads me to believe that she must have already had a means of utilizing this energy. And the secret to that is the sacrificial altar itself. What do you think of my theory? Ow, what gives, Granny? I'm stupefied by your stupidity. What'd you say? Brother, please calm down. Shane, why don't you explain? The sacrificial altar has always been an energy transmitting device. It's no secret. I didn't know that. Memory loss? It's not that you don't know, you didn't keep up with your studies. I explained this to you and Shane in the past. There's a cloister atop the structure of the sacrificial altar said to be left behind by the elves. Supposedly, it is a mechanism which can reduce a life form to its energy level and transmit it to a faraway place. Supposedly sounds fishy. This hasn't been any record of the cloister activating. Well, they don't know. Ah, uh, whatever. We know enough. Hold on there. Where do you think you're going? Don't stop me, Granny. If we don't do this, everyone's memories will be taken away. My lineage as a priest will activate the cloister. Stop trying to take all the credit. You're not the only one entrusted with this mission. Can't leave the activation to a good for nothing like you. Shane, you will activate it. I get to help brother with this fight? Huh. <laughs> they can't afford to be down a man just when they're about to attack the enemy's throat. I'm just th taking the most definite, reliable approach. Come on. Time is taken. Let us head to the cloister. <laughs> Let's not go to the cloister immediately. Thank you.
<clears throat> because it's like one of the last few chances I can uh, pick up on uh, carrots. So make good of what I can with whatever time I have left. Six more carrots, beautiful. <clears throat> Eighteen. Not a bad number to have. Now we go to the sacrificial altar. Damn it. It had to be up there. Hey, uh, Jet, thank you. There is a way up here. Somewhere. There it is. Here we go. Even if we're able to activate the shrine, you really believe it'll take you to the enemy stronghold? You would risk your life over my good-for-nothing grandchild's silly little speculation? Hmm. Well, I don't think we have any other options at this stage. You may have to believe or else there'd be no point in doing this. And I think we're the only ones capable of defeating this intangible dream demon, Beatrice. I see. What makes you so confident you can beat this dream demon? The four of us have been bestowed by the power of the Arc Scepter. You once told us that this qualifies us to fight Guardians, which in turn means that we're capable of communicating and interacting with an intangible force. We don't have a plan or scheme to defeat the dream demon, but all I know is that we're the only ones who can fight her. This is the this key is like an invitation for Beatrice. I'm sure this will take us to her. This is foolish, absolutely foolish. If you do make it to her stronghold, you're most certainly bound for the jaws of death. Yet you still wish to go? One can still survive in the fields of death. That's what it means to fight. We will prevail. Brother, take this. Exodus Orb. It's a sacred artifact of Basker. It allows you to escape from any labyrinth or dungeon. Something I needed in very early on in the game. Well, awesome. I'll take good care of it. And when we're done here, I'll be back to return. Just you wait. They say a fool may go to any extremes, but that just means it takes a fool to do the extreme. Yeah, we got a ways to go in this dungeon. The guests have arrived. Let the grand ball commence. I am the Fortress of Seven. No one shall penetrate our Fortress of Disasters. I have confidence you and confidence in you, my disasters. I need a sacrifice to carry out my plan. My full guy needs to draw energy from the sacrifice in order for it to exist. Now go and help me create my planet, but don't underestimate their abilities. They have invoked guardians. Guardians. They will meet their match when they face the disasters. Please witness the power of our destruction. Yeah. They're not going to... The grand ball is proceeding. According to plan, everybody must perform their own dance. Everybody, including the rowdy gang, the disasters, and even that man. The sensation feels as if we're inside a dream, so fanciful and surreal. Looks like we've made it in the Dream Demon's Domain. This is where it all started. This is where it all ends. Alright. 
Welcome to the 25th dimension as C constructed all by electric signals. In your words, the dream world. I'm glad to see the dream key will come in handy. Beatrice. As a dream demon, I am unable to exhibit my abilities in your physical world. But in here, this dream world, I would be more than happy to dance with you. You here to do just that? Because I know you all possess the power to kill me. Don't think you play around people's lives just because we can't see you. We're here to stop just that. We come by our own well. <laughs> I'm really glad you can make it. We'll have so much fun together. Welcome to my nightmare castle. All the nightmares. Seven disasters, huh? We're invited through these doors. This is where we make our exit. We'll come and go as we please. Yeah. We are a guest. We shouldn't, you know... We shouldn't say, you know... Screw you to our uh, guests here. Ah. go this way and we'll see what what we face good lord <laughs> our encounter rate is a little through the our encounter gauge is through the roof here wish I could have just a little bit more ECN and although I haven't really tried but God. Ah, that was so close. It's alright. Follow. No! So. It's going to be one of those dungeons. Uh, where it takes me like an hour just to solve the puzzle just to get to the final boss. Oh, man. Or I'm just going to be a dumbass and just slip slide everywhere. Either or, you know. Oh, thank God. All right. Please tell me there's a just... It, that was just it. No, but of course not. Over there. And now we get a more challenging one. Naturally. What? 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 I'm sorry. That split. I was expecting it to split like that. Think I remember this shit? No. Nope. That going down is the bad choice. Going up is the right choice, and then God knows what else after that. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Just don't want to... No! Oh, you tricky son of a bitch. Okay. This game is done playing nice. <laughs> like, I, I, I would have been fine if, you know, the bosses were a bit more difficult, but, you know. No, this game is just... Yeah, we're, we're, we're done playing nice with the puzzles. You either get the mechanics that we're showing you, or you are just done. Thank you! Alright. Okay. First one. Which one are you? I am Disaster, the power that guards the Nightmare Castle. Let it be known to those to, to trust the power of the guards, your life ends here. The Aqua West summons your death. I am the power of the water. Okay. Water. Yeah, I'm not really uh, afraid of you. All things considered, I am not afraid of you whatsoever. Fact. Nah, I'm not gonna do anything else on this one. Just, yeah, just get my experience up. Take the head. Yeah. He doesn't do that much damage. Anyways. Still enough! You know, I needed to do that. Alright. So now I need you. We're going to full care of Virginia. That's it. This should be the end of the battle. No, it's not the end of the battle. Interesting. Think I thought that that would be it. Guess not. Good to know. Oh. There we go. She didn't do as much. I thought she would. So. Alright, we're done with one. Now, thankfully, getting out is easier than getting in. Alright, that's one. That one's cracked, so bomb. Very aggressive, these guys. God. 
Give me one of those. All right. Just be easier to use an Exodus Orb. <laughs> Getting out of this one. So hard to see, man. Thanks, Dream Demon, you bitch. Damn it. <laughs> it's even worth it, man. doing so good. I thought it may, I, it was down just far enough. No, no, of course I wasn't. No, I was right there. <sighs> God, it takes such concentration to not fall. I mean, look how dim that is.
Uh, it's the it's final dungeon of Wild Arms 2 all over again. It's like you are just one pixel off. You are gone. You are into the abyss. No, why? Game, come on. I bet you speedrunners skip this, and I don't blame them. <laughs> Doing this legitimate is just an evil, man. Like you, they ask a lot of the game, the players at this point. It's like, all right, in-game dungeon, that's it. We are making one hell of a finale for you. I feel like I'm committed at this point. I'm doing this. Like, I'm not going back the way I came, but you know what? I'm doing this. This boss going to get his ass kicked once I get to him. When I get to him. There's no if at this point. It's a when. Exodus Orb. Yeah, whichever one you are, you are dead. I don't care. Moonspark? Alright. Darkness? No problem. God, that was brutal. Defense Snow is good. Yeah, good luck with that one.
Okay. <clears throat> Strange how she got hit with uh, with that. Even though she should have full elemental weakness, I guess it doesn't cover light and dark. Whatever. He's dead. Alright. Yeah, that was a smart idea. All right, I can take on, I think, one more before I should retreat. Hmm. There we go. It's another one down. Oh no. It's one of these. I wonder any uh any real hints. Not seeing any real hints. Go left. Don't know. Don't know if that worked or not. Psych that is a weird looking cyclops. Have to say. Someone's getting hit. Oh no, somebody's paralyzed. Got no problem with that. Dude, that guy's got some, uh, got some health to him. Okay, Rose Insignia, that's what we're looking for, so, north, that's what we're looking for, east, south, I have no idea what you guys are weak to, so summon everything. Stay good. South. And then 
West again? Yep. Alright, we're good. There was a pet! Alright. North, north, east, north. No, 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 this is north. Okay. Northeast. West. West. All right. Uh. Done doing the trial and error bullshit. My notes written for a reason. Yeah. Gale Claw. Alright. Got no problem with, with wind here. Because half, at least half my guys are weak are immune to it, so don't really matter to me. Probably save up a heal carrot if I just take him out normally. Heal carrot, I mean full carrot. Might as well. I do good enough damage without it. Just cast Valiant on this turn, and we're good to go. Do not cast pressure just yet. I got plenty of other things. Hey you go high speed ripper all you want. Not much damage you're doing here, buddy. Hoping his auto reload would kick in, but now it's like gotta do it manually. Oh well. Come on, die already, please. Hey, 
Thank you. It's three disasters down. Now mind you, I can skip all these guys. But this makes it, this makes uh, the boss fight a little bit hard. Because the boss fight um, is dependent on how many of them there still are. If you destroy all the disasters, he's pathetically easy. If you don't, he gets a, he gets an attack based on how many are alive, and they do their special ability each time. Pretty rough. So I'd like to weaken him as much as possible. Since we're not getting any gold out of all this, well, you know, we're in it for the experience. Now we go climb back up. Let's see here. We have we still have light, fire, light, fire, and earth. So Ah, I didn't even have to go all the way back. Could have just talk to Shane, but no, I, I had to leave. Just had to get out of there. Alright, not seeing a way of getting through that, so maybe the radar? No. No encounter gauge by the time I get into this room. Jeez. Alright. What do I gotta fight? Sun Flare, huh? Sounds like you guys would be weak to ice. No, now we dice. All right, I need to stop Gallows. Beautiful. He had it coming. Make it make sense. I'm worth a lot of experience. Primordial Impulse, Surge Guy, 
Passing blacksmith with flame in hand out of the first to embrace primordial chaos. Time goes by the demon descendants to be done the humans with the elves with the cold power. Man comes for a seeking change, trust by the people who becomes the advocate for the future. The demons use the drains to devastate the planet, causing grief to many. Well. Gotta use the Gale Crest to get a in a specific order. Freeze. Boomerang and change crest. There we go. There we go. It's insane. What's next? Okay, so I gotta make the blocks look like this. <sighs> Here we go. Alright. Jewel has to be has to at least make its way back around. That yeah. So it has to look like that. Okay. It's just basically picking this crap up and making it look the same. I've been okay. How you doing? Okay. Or, there we go. Much better. Right there. Yeah, just place shit back down. Place shit like that. Actually, you know what? You go back there because I need to move this thing. There we go. Okay. If I can, can keep my coughing under control, I'm fine. If I can't, well, you know, that's just how it is. Okay. okay put you back there. Nope, not gonna go that way. I need you to be rotated that way. Okay, the only thing I need to rotate now is... No! I screwed it up. It's a persistent cough. I, I've been basically, uh... Oh no, I gotta back out and restart this whole puzzle. It's a persistent cough. I've been... It's been going on for months. So it's nothing too, uh... Too crazy, but it's annoying. Okay, let's try and not be a dumbass this time. You... Just need to, uh... There we go. That thing is looking like it should now. Just want to get in there and put you there. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it, there's a lot of pollen here in Tallahassee. It's it's horrible. I need you to be over there. There we go. There we go. So yeah, I'm taking Flonase. I'm taking uh, allergy medication. And it helps a little bit. Instead of really coughing, I get um, like some wheezes. But I'll take that over like coughing fits. Especially when I'm streaming, so... Ugh. Damn it. Really, I had to be ambushed right before the boss? Seed powder? Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that that's affecting everybody up there. That's going to be hurting everybody for months to come. You're still alive. Go. As long as they're not as, as long as they're not stealing my ambrosia, I am fine with whatever they steal. All right, I do believe you're the light one. Wild Arms is a great series. It, it, it's kind of like they made a uh, Fantasy Wild West series. It's really good. Highly recommend playing it. Considering half my people are immune to it, immune to light, this boss is not going to last that long. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep up the feeble mind. Even better. Okay, where are my lucky cards? Now you can get on the Gatling, because I'm about to give you a huge power boost. The only one really hurting from this is Jet, unfortunately. Eh, he didn't take that much damage this time. Took like half what he took last time. Alright, Jet and Clive are now absolute monsters. want to save my uh, full carrots for certain bosses. You work on your magic. Beautiful crit. And a raw to reload. Beautiful. You're only making it worse for yourself. My guys right now, they get stronger the lower health they have. Okay. 
more bullet left for you. You're fully reloaded. And you don't have dark magic, so she's that. But yeah, my strategy for this game basically is buff everybody to the point where they get stronger, the less health they have, and destroy the bosses. Like, don't even worry if they die. Because the closer they are to death, the closer I am of one shining the boss. Alright, he's done for. And then Virginia, she is my trump card. If I if I do a full attack without um, any ammo in her gut in her gun, a full Gatling attack, which is five hits, uh, her final attack will uh, yeah if they die they lose experience, but I tend to revive them right before they die. All right, teleport back to the entrance. Okay, so I've got two more of these guys. Okay, how can I get this one? Okay. Pull? No? How do I open this door? Or is it from here? Okay, can't touch that. Um... Ah! Do I examine that, or... Alright, that one's easy. I'll figure out that door next time. Alright, let's go to, th to this one. This I'm at the uh, final dungeon, and it's just a lot of Random ass puzzles, to say the least. Beautiful. Went through the entire game without get, having any dark gems, and now I, I just have an absolute uh, ton of them. Ha! Huh, stealth stalkers, huh? Well, I don't think I can hit them with fire, so... What? Or fire with actual guns, so... Just hit them with my summons. That's what they're here for. Alright, looks like they took normal damage from magic, so I don't have any problems with these guys. Beautiful. If I could get her another level. Ooh, she's gonna be more devastating. Okay. This is gonna be fun. So, what happens if I turn that? Okay, that will do that. Turn that back around. Okay. Whoa! So finicky. So finicky, you man. Just. Okay.
There we go. Is that good enough? Almost? Um... No, it is not good enough. I actually have to connect. Alright. So... Let's say... No, let's go... That way... That way... That way. There we go! Yeah, that weird effect earlier was messing with me. When I was doing the uh, darkness dungeon. Because it, I had to uh, hit a certain statue to see where the next platforms are. And I was stuck there for ten minutes. Oh boy. Okay. Looks like I'm going to be racing here. Are you kidding me? Alright. I'm game. Go! No! I almost had it. There we go. Beautiful. Up, oh, up. Oh, there's a uh, crane up there. It's all about timing. All about timing. Can't believe I had to find an item just to jump. That's wild arms for you. Alright, that's it for that part of the dungeon. Now for the fire boss. I am Disaster, the power that guards the Nightmare Castle. Let me know those that trust the power guards, your life ends here. The fiery rage ignites the heavens. I am the power that scorches all. How many uh, full carrots do I have left? 16? Can't waste any of them, so. Alright. Okay. Yeah, there's not much that he can do other than uh you know what? save up your stuff and get everybody ready because this is about to hurt. <laughs> I only got so many people immune to fire. If everybody's immune to fire, I could drag this battle out and gain so much experience. Unfortunately that's not the case. Hoping that uh, some other people would get hurt by that, but let's see here. Personal skill, jet. No, he does not have a way of. He might be able to. Um, Cosmic Hog. Personal skill, jet. Reset the counterattack. And reset poison. Don't need to worry about poison for a little bit. There we go. Everybody's being to fire now. Now the only way that this guy can actually harm me is if uh, he does a physical attack. Which is great for me. I mean, this will take forever. <laughs> but. So be it. He's calling down the thunder with that. <clears throat> 
This poor guy. Like, I got strong magic, and I go, I'm just immune to you. And I have stronger magic that you're weak to. <clears throat> Come on, auto reload. Come on. No, you don't want auto reload. Whatever. reason why I have a Gallows of Virginia only using magic as they're the only ones that have a good magic stat. Everybody else's magic sucks. <coughs> and also the best part is for all every time he uses this, since everybody's immune to this because of a skill, their uh, experience multiplier goes up by one point time what well, Point one times. So he's just multiplying the amount of experience I'm gaining. It's just gonna add up. <laughs> so if I really wanted to, I could have defended this whole time, healed whatever he did melee attacks, and got my multiplier up to 9.9. .9. <laughs> but I'm trying to beat this game today. <laughs> that would take that would take forever. Alright. Now there is... Is that the thing I'm looking... No, that's not. That's just a gargoyle. Yeah. Yeah, that would just take forever. Alright, there's just one more left. Now there should be a... Place for me to grapple. Just looking for a very uh, conspicuous place. Yeah, it would just take forever. There it is! Alright. Last of the disasters. Once I get through this. You guys. Once I'm done with these guys, I go back to rest, and then... No, I'll take on the boss, then go back to rest. Be mainly because the boss that, I, that, that I'm going to be fighting, his power is based on how many of these disasters I kill. If I kill them all, he is easy. If I don't kill them all, he gets, he does every last one of their attacks, every round, and then his own turn. <laughs> so he'll get seven turns if I don't kill him now, <laughs> if I don't kill them now. Rather that didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, he's hardcore. Let's see what kind of puzzle they have for me. Block pushing. Block pushing. All the blocks. All the blocks. And someone is still shooting fireworks. Why? Let it go. <laughs> All right. Go 
this way, that, that should be good enough. Now, gotta get to the other side. There we go. Eh. Yes, Virginia is in danger. Well, right now the pl the world is kind of like a desert hellscape at the moment, so I mean, it can't get any worse. You see, uh, demons kind of fucked this world several times over. Alright, I need to figure out what you're weak to. Let's see, randomizer, what are you going to cast for me? I mean, there are worse spells to, to cast. But Virginia is essentially immune to everything except for light and dark. There we go. Hey, everybody. All right. Just unload and then let's see who he's actually weak to. Maybe. Earth. Okay. Good to know. God, that didn't take him down. I don't even have that many Earth gems. There we go. Okay, so. How do I want to do this? Push you there. Push you there. Push you there. Actually, no. That's not how I needed it to go. All right. Try that again. Need you to go there. All right. Have a good night, man. And don't worry, I'm going to highlight the entire uh, final boss fight. It's got 12 phases, so it's going to take me roughly an hour to fight all by itself. So yeah, you have a good one. <laughs> it's just a boss that doesn't want to die. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to mess around with this boss. Okay. 
you're the one I have to previous command at the end of your turn. That is who I need to work with. Okay. Yeah, everybody but my jet, man. Everybody but jet's immune to all this crap. This boss will be put to sleep. Short order. Three. Four. Boom! Alright, one more boss, and then I run back, save, grab as many uh, full carrots as I can, and that's it. Open the door and confront the enemy. Let's go. I am disaster of the power. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're done. You do not have a prayer. Oh no! He turns tiny! He does a good amount of damage. I wish my guy did that kind of damage while I summoned him. No? No boom? Fortress of Seven. Witness the destructive succession of Tiamat's disasters. Yeah, about that. There ain't none of you left. Though my fortress may not be complete, I'm still the foundation of this castle. Yeah, about that. Hey, buddy. Um, Virginia's got something to say to you about all that. The fact that you lived is amazing. boss is down. All that's left is the final boss. Well, you know, let's just, uh, let's go away. And after, while I save, I'll rest up. Save. I shall be right back.
All right. Let's go see, uh... Let's go see if we can get any more heal carrots. We've been in that dungeon for a little bit. Maybe we get, uh, you know, at least two, three more? You never know. It's gonna be over here. <laughs> Three? Not bad. In a short amount of time. So. 16 for the final boss. <coughs> That's the last thing I'll do. I'll get rid of I can throw this final boss fight. No, no, no. Wanna go around? Alright. There we go. And now the final battle. Once we start this, there ain't no getting off the strain we're on. No matter what. Gorgeous door, laid with roses. There's a small keyhole in the center. Since the third through the store, this must be the Castalian's chamber. Here we go. Time to confront her. Like to save your memories into a memory card? Sure. Final battle time. Were you held up by the disasters? I was getting sick of waiting. The preparations are almost complete. This time for sure I'll create my own Fogai for people's memories. You really think you, you can create another Fogai? Just like that time you used the Yggdrasil system? The Yggdrasil's generator has been destroyed and you don't even have enough energy to. But I do. I'm the one to rip the Yggdrasil generator out from the system. As for energy, I'll just blow up the Nightmare Castle and appropriate the energy generator from the blast. It didn't really matter to me whether you defeated the disasters or not. I just wanted the most powerful life form to offer up in place of the Surge of Gaia so I can apply its energy to my creation. Everybody works so hard for me. Starting with the construction of the Yggdrasil system, which paved the way to my first attempt at creation. You defeated the Boar's Prophets who tried to expel the humans and also rid the world of Siegfried. Oh, and how can I forget? Lamium obeyed all my orders to excavate, excavate countless artifacts necessary for my creation. Even Lamium. As long as humans cling to even a little bit of hope, they can be taken advantage of quite easily. Lamenting over the decaying Pilgaia, I must appear as a saint to Lamium. People don't rely or depend on others just because they're weak. It's because we strongly believe that we can accomplish something much greater if we support each other. It's a bond built upon trust and support. There's nothing lower than taking advantage of people's trust. So arrogant. I don't need to hear your lecture. Now let me show you what deep sleep beyond your dreams. Oh, she angie. In this dream world, I am a tangible entity where you can hurt me as you please. The opposite also holds true. I'm capable of ripping you to shreds. All right. Yeah, she's not 
she's not exactly a uh, strong first form here. So we just gotta. I don't think she she has less than ten thousand, so I don't want to waste a uh, full carrot already. Dude, if that's all she's going to do, I got this in the bag. She doesn't have much left. If she's not going to attack, I mean, that's just hilarious. Good on you for that auto-reload. Nightmare! Everyone's asleep except for Virginia. That's just fine by me. Let me uh, have a uh, mini carrot just so I can heal everybody. Don't want to waste any of this. <clears throat> Mainly because of that. Oh, Clive, you're awake. Good. Probably finish her off. She has more health than I thought. Alright. Didn't want to use one so early, but give me no choice. Hit me with darkness again, please. Or feeble mind. First floor done. Can you hear it? The guy is beating within me. The seed of the planet sleeps inside my body. Yes, I shall soon become the mother of the Gaia. Yggdrasil's Hills generator is in its final activation phase inside the Ark of Destiny. All there's left to do now is to blow up this nightmare castle with you in it to generate the energy needed for creation. The birth cry for my new world can be heard at the Ark of Destiny. <laughs> Enough talk, this is it. I must put you and Lamium out of your misery. How does ten seconds to destruction sound? Will that be enough time for you to escape? I think not. I think so. Bye, bitch. This light signifies the birth of a new planet. Shane, come on. Little brother, wake up. Brother? What's going on? Where am I? Why am I here? Are our memories being devoured? Pure so, but not all of it just yet. 
I mean, we still have time. That's up to us. Come on, let's go. So, basically, right now, the entire world's kind of at a standstill. There's no encounters. I can't save my game. I just go to the Ark of Destiny, and that's kind of it. Let's see here. How's everybody doing? I mean, they're all fully healed, so... At least I think they are. Yeah, we're good. Like, look, it is just eerily quiet. So now we just mosey on over to the Ark of Destiny. And now we gotta take on the second phase. The sensation. Are we too late? If the usual little generator attached to the Ark of Destiny has created dream demons for a guy, then yes. Let's hurry, this planet and Lamium are in danger. Yep, she's doing her best to try to stop us, but we ain't gonna be deterred by that. You don't have to turn around, all you have to do is look forward. Maya, what are you doing here? Found my next target. This monumental gem that sparkles a blue like none other. One day I'll return this planet to its blue state and make it mine. Decided to become the first president of the United Stars of Pilgaya. Heh! <laughs> Come on, Maya. That can be taken as an act of aggression. So what's your point? Are you going to do something about it as a defender of justice? We'll stop you. Fine. Then just make sure you come back alive. I mean, you're the only ones who can stay a chance against us. Thanks, Maya. Huh. Huh. Have they no manners? They're in the presence of a future ruler here. Lady, this is a perfect opportunity to pay the, repay them for their honor. Yeah, I'm sure Sis thinks so too, but... She's too stubborn to admit it. I'll be quiet. Put your skills to where your mouth is. Schrodinger's, prepare to go all out. Ugh. And Lamium's been struck down. Lamium, why did you shield us? I, too, have now finally seen the truth. I was deceived and used by that dream demon. Everything I've done worked for my ideology's been disgraced. Even so, I still have hope for the future. Lamium. Come on, Lamium. Lamium will always be an ignorant man. If he didn't shield you, he would have lived on, dreaming. Electrical field, the 25th dimension is the dream world of humans. In other words, a world of eternal darkness sleep within your mind. Deep within your mind, sorry. That world is where I rule. It's easy to control reasoning. You don't understand a thing. Eternal darkness might exist deep down within people's hearts, but... There, though it may be small, you also find a sparkle of relentless hope. Impossible! How do you escape the cage of darkness? Lamium, the man who was most worried and troubled about the future of this planet, as people opened a path with his ray of hope. It was very faint light, eventually disappeared, but I will do my best to honor his memory that lights his way to the future. So you wish to avenge his death, or ignite the flames of hatred for all life on Philgaia? <laughs> Are you going to swallow me and destroy me inside the darkness that filled your heart? I will not let you become anyone's memory. Here we go. Second form. Actually weaker than than our last form because we've actually uh, did a bit of uh, damage to her already. So she's got less health overall. She'll still do all the same things.
Wait, you still have gun you still have ammo. That's because I actually gave you ammo. <laughs> Sorry, Beatrice. Just not good enough to be a final boss. <laughs> I see. So you'll fight for a life living on Phil Gaia to protect their memories. That's fine with me. My Phil Gaia, born with, from life on Phil Gaia, will eat you alive. I will become the mother of Phil Gaia. Here we go. They got so many rules of this thing, man. Don't tell me this here is supposed to be your Phil Gaia. Is this some kind of joke? Yes, the Fogaya theory. How the world is a single life entity. Seems to be at its larval stage now, but will grow and mature into a true threat. Then we have to stop it now. Maybe just another Fogaya, but this will is that of Beatrice. I'm sure it doesn't have a liking for us either. Let's do it! Okay. Just gotta get everybody ready. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Yeah, that hurt. So Splits into two. So I gotta do this. Yeah, just keep Clive. Clive's basically gonna be the one that's gonna. Going to be going to be very important in one of these phases. Mystic. Where are you? There you are. There's a reason why I'm getting everybody to a hundred force power.
Don't need him to split. If he splits, it's just gonna be rough. Damn. Was enough to kill him. It's alright, I should be able to kill him this turn. Did I not? Whatever. Yep, she's gonna need it. Alright! First form down. And now we go into the second phase. This one? Gotta beat it in you gotta beat it in the allotted time you got six turns to beat it if you can't beat it in six turns it resets the battle this phase though all right this phase is over with third form this one's a bullshit one Just be prepared. Clive actions repeats after this at the end of his turn. So basically, the only way this thing is immune to everything until the end of the turn. But it moves slower than everybody else. So Car is exposed. So, what I'm going to do now is everybody who's. I'm going to give everybody kind of a round to heal up here. Heal up. Clive is going to use Gatling. We'll get. We'll go right through this one. Yeah, these guys get a very annoying. No effect. All right. There wasn't much to him. These guys. Try to kill them in one hit. For the love of God, kill them in one hit. <laughs> if possible. Otherwise, this could take forever. Alright, one down. You could, they heal whenever you, uh, whenever you do a physical attack, so if you don't kill them in one shot, you're up shit creek. But, if you cast magic, they won't heal, but they'll change their element every time you hit them with something that they're immune, that they're weak to. So, have fun with that.
wonder if I could get away with, with that. See if I can get permanence on as with vigilant on there. Okay, there we go. Nope, nada. Not enough. Okay, so. Make sure that stays permanent on him. Okay, it's already in effect, so don't have to worry about that. Ah, Benny Carrot. Eh. Nah, nah. That was just a waste. But since I got a mini carrot, hey Virginia, want to use that? Just need you guys to just just do anything at this point that's not related to any uh it's not related to doing actual damn actual physical damage. <laughs>
Go. If I had more full carrots, I could have done this in a little, in a couple other turns, but whatever. That one needs to go first. Yeah, that sucked. Wow, they were weak. Now it gets serious. Starts to get serious. Okay, you. You know what? No. I could have finished him off, Jordan, you idiot. <laughs> we done yet? Jesus. You need Clive at least partially alive. Yeah, this guy, he's weak to every element, but every time you cast a spell of said element, he gets one point of resistance to it, so gotta be careful with that. Alright, that phase is down. Seventh form, here we go. This guy is pretty much the same. In fact, he's exactly the same. Except he's stronger. So let's try not to screw this up and have, actually have her kill this thing. If 
Okay, it didn't die, but that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Get her set up for the next round. Eighth form, this is where it gets crazy. So, one is immune to physical, the other one's immune to magic. And they will both stand in front of this guy to protect them. So you gotta get rid of the physical one, you gotta get rid of the magical one, and then you're gonna have to get Virginia to do the attack. So. All right. I don't remember what side was what. So. I'm just going to do essentially a test round. Hopefully that's the magic one. Okay, that one's weak, left one's weak to magic. Like how Gala was the one that got, you know, hit by that one. Gotta be careful. Gotta do this right, I can defeat this thing this turn. Because I've been stuck on this thing for a while. And I'm not doing that again. The replay is go is if Clive can defeat that thing, then I got this boss for him. Alright. Never mind. Alright. That's actually fine because he should be dead. Unless it, unless my guys were slower than this guy, I have the I have this. Oh, I'm about to say, if he was about to go, I was going to throw a fit. Get out of here. Okay. Eighth form down. Ninth form. Here we go. Okay. So. Who's immune to light? Besides you. You're immune to everything. Ice, dark. Yeah, this is... Everyone's gonna get hit by this one except for Gallows. Gallows should be fine. Yeah. Gallows and Virginia are fine. Jet and Clive are in trouble. Alright, just like last time. Get rid of that messenger on the left with magic. Take care of the one on the right.
we go. Thank you for that. Hopefully this will kill it. Alright. Okay. Ready to KO this one. Extension, just get everybody healed up just a little bit. <laughs> I know it weakens Virginia, but that final attack is really all the damage she needs. I have faith in Jet, he gets got this. Thank you, Jet. Alright, final form. Here we go. If it's a nightmare you seek, then a nightmare you'll get. One that never ends, and one you cannot wake from. Rot in my endless nightmare. <laughs> I've got plenty of full carrots to spare. This thing is not surviving. <laughs> this thing will not survive. One more round of that. <clears throat> and it grows tentacles. Yeah, getting its resistance is doing it. And it's over. All out, guys. Every last one of you, it's over. And it's over. That still took a hell of a long time. <laughs> My full guy and I have been defeated. But your full guy will come to an end as well. My full guy, your full guy. Everything is composed of opposites, day and night, positive and negative. Everything is structured to cancel each other out. Just like my full guy in the dream world and your full guy. The connected world will also perish from my demise. They will eventually expel each other. Everything will come to an end. You, me, everything will be engulfed in nothingness.
Death. Where are we? This is the horizon. Everything is transformed into memories, and all the memories are on the horizon. The horizon. An interval between reality and the dream world. The horizon separates the two worlds. <laughs> Emmy Layer Zone knows the information library. I can't talk. I'm too excited. Just a void? Oh, so we weren't able to accomplish anything. And existence will one day cease to exist. This existence is nothing but a mere memory to begin with. Existence is form of memory passed down from history. We all fought so hard to protect everyone's memories. But I guess... Wait a minute! Memories! If we'll guide and all life lives are a form of memory, then we have to do is create memories again. Every one of us has to gather up the memories we have towards the future. This is the horizon where all the memories are gathered. If Beatrice is able to create Filgaia for memories, if I use this terminal to unify everyone's memories as one, or Filgaia once again. Likewise, if we use the Yggdrasil sister genera that was transformed into memories, <laughs> it'll take a miracle for this to succeed. This is an unlikely coincidence, but you believe it will work? Coincidence is a part of fate. We're not just leaving this miracle to chance. My efforts and everybody else's will unify Filgaia, that's in our heart. The full guy from our memories it might actually be a bit dusty, but we could all work to change that. Creating a full guy from memories. So that is the same game plan as the Dream Demon. Will it work? But if it needed it possible, Jet's memories will also be included. We still have his memories of the former full guy, then maybe, just maybe, the full guy of before will rise. It's like planting a single seed in the wasteland. It'll be a miracle if it blooms. I know it'll work, Dad. I'm not alone. And plus, a miracle is a reward you get for giving your best. At least that's what I think. Or else the fruits of our effort won't be worth the price. We did it! We're back! Is everyone alive? You're the one who was out cold until now. The world is full guy is still there. Yes! Yes, we all made it! Yes, we all made it back safely. Um, he's still dead. Lamium, we'll bring forth full guy's future you wanted. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? Did you do this? Why'd you kill the Founder? No, wait. So what'd you think? You got it all wrong. Everyone in here, the Founder. The Founder's been... Talking about bad timing. The worst, but the pretty green at fighting. We can still fight our way out. No, we can't do that. We've no other choice. We should have showered the shower of fire before. What's the difference now? Don't tell me we're committing suicide. No, nothing like that. We're not going to lay down our lives. How the hell do we get out of this pinch? You're a leader. You have a way out. We'll follow your orders. <laughs> First hurdle I had was to overcome after becoming a drifter was... The fact that the concept of what justice is doesn't always hold true in the wasteland. But still, an unwavering sense of justice lies within me. It compels me to hold true to my convictions. Well, let my feelings waver. It's going to carry through. That's the definition of justice. We traveled the right path up until now, haven't we? We may have stumbled, but we did the right thing, right? Yeah, I think so. There's no way we should live slavishly. Then, we won't need arms anymore. Let's just hold our heads high and run out. We're going to book it. Out the front door, baby! Fine. I'm in, but I'm not accompanying you to the over other underworld. I don't have enough memories yet. You're an unpredictable leader, just like a storm. Whether to believe the storm could blow away all our problems is the question. Storm, huh? You said it. Reminds me of that stormy night on the train where we all met. 
Never thought it would stop turning out like this. Coincidence is part of fate. Really glad I met all of you. Some rough times together. Why didn't I think it was fun? Memories together can't be bought by any treasure, right? Our every step is always headed towards the future. Our memories into the future. So we're outlaws now. And that is it for Wild Arms 3. It's one hell of a ride with... Oh, one of those boss fights, man. Oh. Such a good game. Next up is going to be Xenogears for the PlayStation. One of my favorite JRPGs on the PlayStation. I hold it in higher regard than Final Fantasy VII, which is one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. So, it's, it's an amazing game. Unfinished, unfortunately. It was rushed. But. It is still one hell of a game. Showing a lot of these out of order, man.
And yes, I'm waiting for the cutscene, the credits to end. There is a cutscene afterwards. <laughs> Look how much we're worth. Drifters are suspected of murdering our order leader and assaulting, assaulting everybody. Minor injuries, many. As key suspects of the crime, their whereabouts are still unknown. We're worth so many to everybody. Hey, look, Goose's still alive, and they're chasing a little girl, man. Well, there. A lot of women make the first move. Why does trouble always seem to come from over there? Help me, please. Bad guys are chasing me. Shame, really. We're actually villains ourselves. Except we don't put up with thugs. Hey, guys. Remember us? No! You guys are... I hope you haven't forgotten what great memories we had together. Cowards. Well, what now? Guess we should lay low, huh? You're one to stick out like a sore thumb. We should let everyone know that we're alright. What do you say we hit a hub before you speak first? Thank you. Would appreciate that. Sorry, sorry, honey. Daddy, Daddy's now a uh, outlaw, so we have to be very careful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. X file. I can uh, create a, a new game if I really wanted to. And I'd be able to retain my levels, uh, my, uh, the equipment on my, uh, things. Just a lot of, uh, good stuff. But we are done with this game. And next time. Most likely, uh, Wednesday as I'm working a little bit later tomorrow. We're going to be going on to Xenogears. So I'd like to thank you all for coming. And if you stick with me, we're going to go say hi to Samurai Kitsune. He's playing Mech Warrior. Really do need to get back into that game. Be nice to play with a few people in there. But, that'll be further down the line. Alright, thank you all for coming. Good night.